YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got uh, some cool mods for you guys today. Uh, again, working on the F10. Today, uh, we're going to start looking at putting on uh, the G30 uh, caliper. So this is a big brake upgrade. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I covered it in the, uh, some of the other videos when we we're showing the calipers, but I did not do the rear calipers. I didn't think it was that big of an upgrade. So uh, if I see that in the future and decide I want to do that, of course, we'll pick up a set then. But uh, right now, we're just going to jump into the, the front upgrade on these G30 calipers. So I'm going to give you some good images of those calipers, as well as uh, kind of show you what I've, I've run into already. Uh, so before I, I, when I'm working on the, the F10, typically I'll try to work on one side before I start doing any filming just to make sure everything looks good. And uh, with these calipers, you do have to worry about the, uh, the rotor hat. So depending on the rotors that you pick up, and I'll just kind of show you real quick here. So let me turn the camera around. Okay, so I pulled out one of these uh, calipers so you can see them. I actually love these calipers. These are uh, the G30. Uh, these actually came off of a 2019 M550. They're the 374 millimeter calipers. So uh, the way you can tell is if you actually look at the back of the caliper here, I'm not sure if this is going to pick up really good on screen, uh, but you can see there uh, the uh, the 44 is the uh, piston size. So oh, I'm sorry, the 40 is the piston size. So you got four times 40. Uh, so because it's a four piston caliper, uh, 374 millimeters is the uh, rotor size by 36 millimeters, and so that's your the thickness of the rotor. So this is our the medium size G30 calipers. Uh, they look look really really good. So what I'll probably end up having to do is uh, actually uh, trying to see if I can match this paint uh, color for the rear, uh, just stock rotors. So, uh, but what you'll see, I've pulled uh, one of the uh, pads out. This is um, PowerStop uh, EBR 1220X. So I've got some good size cross drilled slotted rotors. Uh, but the problem we're running into right now is that the uh, rotor is actually interfering with the hat. So right here, so again, depending on the size of rotor you pick up, uh, depending on the model that it came off of, sometimes you can have that issue with these uh, calipers and they're, they're actually uh, kind of hit. So I started trying to do a little bit of trimming last night. First cut my, <laughs> uh, broke my, my high speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually take these into work and just have them cleaned up real quick. But the interference that we're having is actually, you kind of see here, uh, the pad is actually just a little too tall because of this rotor hat. So some of the rotor hats fit uh, without any issues. Uh, the power stop, again, uh, EBR 1220X did not fit. So I'm actually gonna have to trim these rotors, I think maybe a quarter of an inch. So it's not gonna be a big deal. So we'll get those trimmed up without any issue uh, and uh, get back here with, uh, with the rest of the video here shortly. And there's another M Sport wheel, LCI M Sport wheel I'm about to ship out. So if you guys are looking for any of those, hit me up. I do get those in from time to time. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll get that started, get those things trimmed up, and then we'll get you guys an installation video here in just uh, here shortly. Here we go, just showing some of the markings on where we're trimming these pads. Just taking just a little bit of a quarter of an inch off the pad and then taking some off of each one of the dust shields. Okay, so we're back at home. We've got our new parts freshly, freshly trimmed. So as you can see, we uh, just cut off a little bit of section here on uh, both of the dust shields, as well as the uh, we've trimmed the uh, the pads as well. Not a really, really clean cut, but I believe it's enough uh, for us to get the clearance we need. So now I'm gonna start working on the assembly. Um, I'm on this um, the passenger side right now, of course, because I wanted to make sure I took off both dust shields and had both pads when I took them into the to work to have them trimmed. So. Uh, we're going to start doing that, so we'll get you guys uh, some updates here shortly. Okay, so we swapped sides real quick, and we've got the ro old rotor off. Uh, what we've done here, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the a pad sensor removed. I just used a pick tool, just a little small little pick tool to be able to, to pull that pad sensor off. Uh, now we're just going to try to clean this surface a little bit of where we're actually going to mount, uh, you know, as far as where the rotor is going to sit. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and mount our uh, brake shield back on or a dust shield, and then we'll uh, we'll get to mounting the caliper. So uh, let's give you guys an update here in just a moment.
So as you guys see now, we've got the, uh, the rotor put back on. Uh, we went ahead and cleaned the surface. What I'm using now are some washers. Uh, I've got uh, two little bit thicker washers. These are about roughly two millimeters each. And then this last one's about one and a half millimeters. So I'm using about five and a half millimeters of washers to try to center uh, the caliper over the top of this, uh, this rotor the best I can. So it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but that is gonna get us in the ballpark and that's what we need. So I'm gonna get my, it's kind of difficult to do with gloves. So I'm just actually gonna go ahead and get this on here the best I can. Uh, and then once we actually have our caliper mounted, uh, I'll go ahead and use uh, just a little wrench to, to go ahead and remove our, uh, our brake line on both of these and, and swap it over. Try, to, try not to, to lose as much as fluid as possible, but I do have uh, some, uh, some new DOT4 brake fluid I'm going to try to just do like a, a drain and refill uh, while I'm bleeding the lines as well too. So just a, a really good time to be able to go ahead and do that at the same time. Uh, on the other side, what I found was, was easiest was to actually run the bolt. We'll start to run the bolt through the, the hole and then take my washers and slide them over the tip of that bolt and try to keep them as flush as possible. And then when I'm using this caliper, I try to line it up the best I can uh, and then try to, uh, again, uh, try to start screwing it in uh, into, into position. So that's what we're gonna give a shot and we'll see, uh, see what we come up with. This would definitely be easier with a second set of hands. And it is easier from what I can see to do the bottom first and then to rotate and do the top. Kind of my plan here and the plan worked so we uh just like that we've got we've got it bolted in or so i'm running these bolts in now i'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my wrench tighten it up and uh, we'll move on to the next stage here in just a moment oh, actually the last time i do this i'm actually going to tighten this as much as i can by hand and then we'll work on um removing the brake line first before we tighten everything up completely and that's just to make sure that we don't um, have to, you know, break it loose and start all over again if I can't get that brake line off properly. And you can see where I've trimmed the, uh, the pad and there we go. It's still running smooth there. So it's not caught. We're, we're looking good there. So now again, I'm going to use a 716, 716th wrench here. I've already broke loose the one on the, the new G30 caliper. So I'm just going to break it loose on, on the on the old caliper and to do that, I will grab my, my gloves just cause we don't like to get brake fluid on your hands. Uh, another cool feature here that I noticed is on the G30 calipers. Right here, you've got a, a bleed line right here off the top of the, right in the front of the caliper. So you can technically do this without removing the wheel, which is gonna be really nice. So we've got our old caliper here, just kind of swinging it over in position here a little bit. Again, we've got our pad sensor here that's, that we've already disconnected. And so I'm just gonna see if we can't break this loose and try to make sure that we don't get brake fluid on our, uh, on our new caliper. Oh, am I going in that direction? I think I am. There we go. Okay, so I broke it loose. Hey, okay. finally got it to go in there. And now I'm gonna grab my, my little shop rag here or my shop towel and try to clean this off. Cause you definitely don't want brake fluid just sitting on your painted caliber. Okay, so we're gonna crank that down. And then again, now it's gonna be just a matter of bleeding, bleeding the lines. And this, uh... okay, so we got that tight. Bring you guys in real quick. Not sure how well this is gonna show up. But again, we still have this little small brake pad sensor. I'm gonna try to get this line back up and get it installed. All wrapped up. Time to mount our tire. We're gonna go ahead and throw our wheel spacer back on. Again, I'm running 12, 12 millimeter spacers in the front. Um, I haven't tried fitting these without the spacers, but I wouldn't wanna run them without. So. I'm gonna go ahead and mount my wheels and then I'm having to do this kind of 
a little backwards because I still need to uh, flush the brake system. But I need to be able to get my rear wheels up in the in the air and I only have one jack. Okay, there's our finished look. You guys don't mind my, my hole over here. I actually had something come loose there and it ate up my inner fender. So I've got to actually have that replaced. But uh, those calipers and the new rotors look awesome. Okay, so now we've got the car up on jack stands. Still loving the way the new calipers look. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on trying to uh, refill our brake fluid. So uh, right now, we did not drain it down. I mean, it hasn't been drained at all when we were actually uh, uh, swapping out the calipers. So it is actually still full, but this still has old fluid in it. So what I'm doing here is, is I've got some paper, as you guys see, I have towels around it. I'm trying, I went ahead and unplugged it real quick and it's got a little, I don't know, kind of a little float on this. I've got some paper over here. So we're just gonna try to move this over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna su uh, suction out all of this old fluid and then we're gonna start refilling it. There we go. So we got that just kind of laid here on our paper. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and suction that out and, uh, and refill it with our new DOT4 fluid that we have. And then uh, once we have that full, and like I said, we'll probably just go ahead and fill it, fill it all the way up because we wanna make sure that this stays full at all times while we go through the bleed process. Uh, and then we're gonna go around, uh, starting in the back, we're gonna go around and uh, start uh, uh, bleeding these brakes. Um, I won't put all that on, on footage just because it's not, <laughs> you guys, I know there's tons of videos on that, but uh, we will get started on that real quick. And the pump that I'm just using, I had actually picked this up. I've had used these multiple times, but this is just a little transfer pump that I can use to, uh, should be small enough to be able to get in there to our um, brake fluid reservoir to be able to try to pump that out. So that's what I'm gonna try to use to get this fluid out real quick. Okay guys, we just finished up with the brake bleed on the, uh, the F10 here. So we've got our new calipers on, they look awesome. Uh, so we'll turn around and show you guys that, but I actually have one more thing that I wanna do for you guys, because of course I had some guys asking me about, you know, getting this video out for you guys to see uh, this, this G30 caliper upgrade. So that's, that's the main reason why I wanna put this video out there, but I also have a lot of people that, uh, that do ask about whether or not you can actually fit uh, some of the stock wheels uh, with these calipers. So we'll give it a shot. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember, let me switch this camera around real quick. If, for those that don't know, my, my stock, well, my, my current setup right now are the Style 433 replicas. These front wheels are 19 by eight and a half with a positive 35 millimeter offset. Uh, but my car, of course, was the base model, so it came with the stock 18 inch wheels. So what I'm gonna do right now, we're gonna see if we can't pull this off and just see if uh, we can happen to fit the 18 inch wheel over the G30 caliper upgrade. So. We'll give it a shot. I, I, I don't know yet. I haven't tried, so we'll, we'll learn out. We'll learn together. And again, guys, I am running a 12 millimeter uh, front spacer here, so we'll see if this is going to clear this caliper. Okay, it's looking promising right now. Here we go. And again, just for tip, fitment purposes, that is 18. That is close, man. I hear some noise. So, so I'm going to take it off and inspect, but, but that's a, gives us a little bit of info. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So that's just because I, I just finished bleeding the brakes, so it's a little bit tighter on the rotor. So really, I didn't, I wasn't actually rubbing on the wheel. It was just literally the uh, the calipers have clamped down a little bit um, 
on the uh, on the rotor before than what more than what I expected. So so yeah, the uh, the 18 inch wheels do actually do actually clear these calipers. So good information to know. So again, the 18 inch wheels actually do clear these calipers. Uh, the issue I was having was the uh, I wasn't noticing the fact that I just finished bleeding these brakes and those those uh, pistons had actually kind of clamped down a little bit more as far as the pads had on the rotor. And that's why it was actually giving me a little bit of friction there. So uh, just for anybody that's look, that's wondering, uh, that's, that's an option for you. If you don't have upgraded wheels and you still want to run the G30 calipers, that's something that looks like you should be able to do. So this is your first time to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. I got more content coming from you guys. Um, I'm not sure if you saw, but I actually have a transmission uh, service kit that I'm getting ready to uh, work on here probably in a couple days. Also gonna do a drain and refill on our differential fluids. I have, I'm still waiting on my 6WB uh, to come in from the mail, as well as uh, we do have another nice interior upgrade on the steering wheel. So uh, really excited about this. Make sure you guys stay tuned, be safe, and we'll catch you in the next video.